All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do empirical formula. So before, what we did is we actually had our equation and we were finding the percentage. And so now we're going to do uh, uh, something different. So let's look and see what we're doing. So we're doing empirical formula is from the compound of the formula in the smallest form whole number ratio. And there was an example problem where we had C3 H6O2. So what we were going to do first of all is we had our percentages was carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, right? Here's what our percentages were. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change them. Remember, the percentages is the same thing as 100%. So we're going to take those numbers, and we're going to this time, instead of what we did before, and if you remember what we did before, we went through, and we were taking our number, and we were taking our moles, and we put our grams on the top, moles on the bottom. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our grams to find our moles first. So the first thing you're going to do is you find your moles. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your 48.64. You're going to look up your carbon. Carbon is 12.01, okay? Then 8.16 on your hydrogen, which is 1.01. And then, um, 40, then we're going to do oxygen, which is your 16. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to do that math. So the first thing that we're going to do is find the mole. So to find the moles, you're going to do 48.64, um, open bracket, your alpha y enter, which is 1 over 12.01, close your bracket, and that gives me the 4.049, okay? 8.16 multiplied. Alpha Y enter 1 over 1.008. Close. And that gives us the 8.09, which I moved it to 810. And then 43.20. And then open bracket Alpha Y enter 1 over 16. And that gives me 2.7. So then the next step that you're going to do is once you find the mole, then you're going to divide it by the smallest number. Well, if you look, you got 4.8 point, 2.0, point, point, right? 2.70 is the smallest. So you're going to start with the first one, which is your 4. Um, so since I'm doing a fraction again, I'm going to do alpha y enter. So then I'm going to do 4.05 um, and then divide it by 2.700, which will give me 1.5. See? And then alpha y enter 8.10, and I'm going to divide that by 2.700, and then I get 3. And then over here, I go and do 2.7 divided by 2.7, which is 1. And then the final step that we do is we multiply by 2. So we take our 2, multiply by 1.5, which will give us a 3 moles of carbon. Then we're going to do 2 times 3, which is 6 moles of hydrogen, and 2 times 1, which is 2 moles of oxygen. And so our formula now is going to be C3H6O2. Can anything be divided by each other? No, because of the 3. So we're going to leave it by itself. So the sample question in the book gave you a graph, and it had nitrogen and oxygen on it. And it told you the percentages because you remember a circle graph or a pie graph is 100%. 36.84 and 63.16. So then what we're going to do first, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the mole, right? All right. So to be able to find the mole, we're going to take our percentages. We're going to look on our periodic table for our nitrogen. And we're going to say 1401. We're going to put our mole above it. And then we're going to do... 36.84 and then we're going to open bracket alpha y enter which is 1 over 14.01 .01. and I'm going to close my bracket and that gives me my 2.6 and I wrote the whole number out and then I did 63.16 um, open bracket alpha y enter that would be 1 over 16 Close my bracket, and that gives me my 9, 3.945. Okay, 
So here, what I'm going to do is I have a total average right here, okay? But the next thing that I'm going to do is after I find the mole, I'm going to divide by the smallest. So the first thing I did is I found the mole. Now I'm dividing by the smallest, so then I, the, the smallest between the two is 2.69. So I did that, which is one mole times two, which is two moles. And then 3.9475 over two by the smallest number again, 1.5 multiplied by 2, which will give me a 3. So my formula is N2O3. <coughs> okay, so that's in today of this. I made uh, two formula, I mean, I made two videos. One is where you're just going and you're going through and they're giving you the empirical formula and you're changing it to go and get the percentage of each one that's in there. And then on this video here is where we also are going to go through and we're finding um, the empirical formula. Uh, we're changing it and finding the moles. We're dividing by the smallest number. We're multiplying by two to get us how many moles that is. So we're doing percentage to mole, and that's what this is. Hope you have a good day.